On July 3rd, 1998, I woke up in the hospital. Come to find out after my surgery, the, um, my mom explained to me that I was in a really bad car accident, but the worst part about it was the car that I hit was a family and everyone in that vehicle was hurt really bad. She went on to explain as she was crying um, that a five-year-old boy had, um, had died that was in the other car. I'd been drinking and driving. It was like waking up from the worst nightmare you've ever had. Um, but it was crazy. And that was like the moment that it all just, I mean, it's been a long time now, and, but I used to not even be able to say it. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. Shortly after that, I, um, I gave my life to Christ. I surrendered my life to Christ. Growing up, I kind of knew who God was, but I didn't really know Him personally. But I remember one instant pretty vividly when I was about 13 years old. It was a crossroad in my life, and I had to make a decision as to whether to surrender my life to Christ or to continue to live my life the way that I wanted to. And I know that this may sound stupid, but I chose to continue to live life the way that I wanted because there were so many things that I hadn't experienced in life and I thought if I surrendered my life to Christ, I wouldn't get to experience those things. Because I resisted God for so long, I had to go through a lot of pain and a lot of heartache. I realized that salvation is about trusting in Christ and having faith in Him and that He will begin to help us change. It was amazing because He began to, to change those things in my life, the things that I wanted to experience before coming to know Him. The neat thing is when we surrender our lives to Christ, His Spirit comes to live inside of us. And I didn't really understand that concept until after, through faith, I gave my life to Christ. My name is Eric Jones and I'm a 29-year-old Christian living in Southern California. This is my name.